going to do a gear review. I normally just post videos and various riffs and stuff like that, but somebody asked me what the guitar was like. Um, so the guitar in question is a Fender Squire. It's the classic vibe Telecaster, the 50s Telecaster. Um, I've had the guitar for about a year now, um, so I feel as though now is probably a good time to review it. When I first got the guitar, I thought it was fantastic, um, and I still do. But now is probably more of a level, a level review, more of a fair review, I think, um, of this particular guitar. I'll try to keep the talking to a minimum because I know you'll probably just want to hear what it sounds like. But the um, guitar itself, um, it's got the slimline uh, C neck. Um, as you can see, it's in butterscotch with a maple fretboard and maple neck. Uh, you've got the skunk stripe on the back. Um, really nice guitar. You can see the uh, light on the back of that. Um, vintage style tuners, which are absolutely no problem. I was a little bit um, apprehensive about changing them because I've not used this one before. Literally, you just drop the string in the top of the tuner and just wind it around. It's really, really easy. Um, I like them. Yeah, they're absolutely fine. Um, the guitar itself, um, not usual Telecaster with the lipstick sort of style um, pick up on the neck. And then you've got obviously the classic uh, pick up um, in the bridge. Uh, three way uh, tone control, neck, middle um, and bridge and um, with the two tone knobs as well. Um, it's it's there's, there's some weight in the guitar, I have to say. There's some weight in the guitar. Um, it feels solid. Um, I, I am really impressed with it. I really am. Um, it is. I think I paid three forty for it, three fifty something like that. And I've had squires in the past, and I think my first ever guitar was one of those kind of squires you used to get from Argos twenty odd years ago, and it wasn't great to be honest with you. This is a totally different um, beast, really. Um, if I was a gigging guitarist still, I would have no um, no worries about gigging this guitar. It stays in tune. It sounds great, which you'll hear. Obviously, the tuning thing is a massive thing because I had an Epiphone, or I've still got an Epiphone, and that thing just would not stay in tune. Um, I got, got it professionally looked at, and the necks weren't, the frets weren't level and stuff like that, amongst other things. It's fine now. This guitar um, hasn't even had a setup. Um, it literally came out of the factory like this. Um, I will get it set up because the um, the loy is a little bit close to the fretboard and there's a bit of vibration off the off the neck. But apart from that, it's absolutely spot on. Um, I've got no plans to mod it or change the pickups or anything. The pickups sound fine to me. Um, you know, they're up to the the fine for I want and. Yeah, it's it's just a great guitar. Um, I've heard people say stuff about the tuners. Um, yeah, when they're turning, they don't feel that solid. But you know, that's just something I have to see over time. Especially when putting new strings on, it doesn't feel great. But um, apart from that, um, I can't think of any disadvantages really. The neck is really really playable and really great. I really love it and. Um, you know, it might be a bit thin for people, but you know, I've only got small hands, so it's fine for me. So yeah, what we'll do is now, um, just that you know, I am playing through um, a Yamaha TH TH five amp. It's only a little des desktop amp, um, just to show what it can do. This is clean on the neck pickup. <laughs> Pickup. 
And uh, finally, the obviously the famous uh, bridge pickup, which is very, very twangy and bright. I'll be honest, I'm not really a neck a bridge pickup um, person on this. I prefer the other two, but uh, it's all down to personal choice. But this is how this one sounds. <laughs> Criticised it. No, it actually actually sounds all right. Um, yeah, I mean, in terms, I won't go for all the pickups again, but yeah, it's just it's really nice. that up a bit there yeah but yeah it's really nice they're the clean sounds and um, we'll do some I've gone for the um the lead channel which is quite crunchy not overly distorted or anything but yeah the, the gain's not all the way up either so yeah just have a little you know this sounds <laughs> I didn't really like, like the uh, neck pickup, it actually sounds pretty good. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sounds nice. Yeah, just, I mean, 
good. Right, we are going to go on to the highest gain setting next for the next bit. And uh, yeah, it's not a metal guitar, obviously, it's a Telecaster, but... So, yes, the high gain setting, this is what it sounds like on the neck pickup. <laughs> guitar and I just felt the need to play the Sandman there it sounds it but it does do that heavy heavy sound really well obviously it's not tuned to the right thing but I'd use this for um fight for your right to party for by the Beastie Boys and it sounded really really good um if you want it like that but then yeah let's try the other um pickups so this is the middle <laughs> But yeah, it does. Um, oh. Whoops. <laughs> so we'll try a bit of a lead sound. Um. Thank you. 
that again was on the uh, neck pickup, um, which I said I didn't really like, but it does sound nice. I'll put it, I've actually changed my mind during this video. Um, the neck pickup. <laughs> player but yeah it sounds it sounds really really good on the neck pickup as well final thoughts um on this guitar i love it either me or later i love it um i see a lot of them going second hand on facebook ebay i mean if you can pick one up for anything below the three as long as it's in good nick i've seen some for like 250 really really good or buy one new um it's not it is a beginner's guitar, I suppose, with the fact that it's got Squire on the neck. But for me, I mean, I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a, a, a brilliant guitar player by any stretch. But I've played for, you know, twenty odd years. I've played. I've got an American Fender Strat. Um, obviously, this isn't this isn't an American Fender by any means. Um, but it's a great guitar and great value for the money. So I've had a few people asking me. Should I get one? Should I take the plunge? My advice would be yes, because I think, I don't think you'll be disappointed. So yeah, brilliant. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if you would like. Um, it'd be nice to get up to 100 by Christmas. And yeah, have a good one. Cheers.